were flying above the French Alps. We had planned our flight to Chambéry at a higher altitude, allowing us to use the more direct route. But today's low cloud has ruined our plans and forced us lower into the valleys. Conditions are just about good enough to continue, but if things get worse, it should always be possible to turn back to safety if needed. We're going to start by heading to Annecy, the town up ahead beside the lake, then it's all valleys until Chambéry. We have taken extra fuel as we knew that a deterioration in the weather was possible, causing us to take a much longer and complex route. We can use the stepping stones method to find our way, as the legs are so short, allowing us to turn directly towards our next waypoint. Take us to the north shore of Lake Annecy, maintaining 4,000 feet. Now please make a left turn to follow the lake to its southern tip. Head towards the far end of the lake, keeping an eye out for potential landing sites either side of the water in case we need to perform a forced landing. There was a more direct route to Chambéry, but the low cloud has prevented us from going that way. Luckily the wind is only 2705, so whilst we may get an occasional patch of rough air, hey Jackson. it won't be too Hello. bad. How's it going? Published routes are common in a lot of mountainous areas with heavy traffic, such as the Alps and the USA. I think the golf course, or those fields to the left, would be emergency landing point. Potentially those fields to the right.
left hand turn would probably be riskier if we lost power now. So it would be the right hand turn. Yep. And those fields are at 2 o'clock. Carry on ahead a little further to Faverge, where we'll be met with a fork in the valley. We'll take the left fork when we get there. Okay, you need to be conscious of down drafts or up drafts if it's the leeward side of the valley. Not sure. Was it wins from 270? I think so. If so, that would be updraft, so just need to keep an eye on vertical speed indicator. Increase in vertical speed. Not quite sure. Oh, there we go. We'd have to do right hand turns if we lost power now. Fields over at three and four o'clock. Or potentially try and make there that field there at 11. Those flats look okay. Follow the valley around to the left to take us overhead to Val de Chez. Be aware that in tight valleys, even on a clear day, the valley walls and rock formations cast shadows which may conceal hazards. These hazards might be hang gliders, cables, birds or any number of other risk factors associated with valley flying. Conversely, strong sunlight can heat up dark rock, causing the air to be heated and rise, known as thermals, which can cause turbulence. track the valley to the right, which will bring us to Uji. Need to be conscious that we'll have down drafts coming off the right wall of the valley, so... As the valley narrows, we can find that a Venturi effect causes the wind speed to increase. So be wary of the potential for our currently minor tailwind to become stronger momentarily, seen as a drop in our indicated airspeed and loss of lift. 
Also, you can find wires across some valleys, used for communications or zip lines, so be aware of these as you near narrow points. Just like that. Sudden loss of lift. Albeville is our next waypoint, so make a sharp right here. Although the overall forecast wind was 2705, as it pushes through narrow valleys and over ridge lines, its speed and direction can vary tremendously. Be especially wary of getting too close to the valley wall that is on the leeward or downwind side, as the air will be spilling over and flowing down the valley wall, which is called a downdraft. Getting caught in a strong downdraft can be incredibly dangerous, and this reason alone would be enough to put a stop to a valley route on a windy day. Such a hazy, hazy flight. Sun trying to break through the clouds, but just presenting this bright, glaring obfuscation of what's definitely a peak directly in front of us. And ooh, turbulence. Now we're at the outskirts of Albertville, we can follow the Isère River, which snakes its way past the town and along the valley floor. This is a longer stretch of valley, with the river being a convenient line feature to follow. landing spots would be just up ahead of us off the nose to the left we typically Not follow a right. line feature by keeping it to our left but we don't have as much room to allow this plus the hazards of downdrafts from the right side of this valley therefore we can keep over to the right of the river but don't get too close to the valley wall 
In calm conditions, it is customary to keep to the right side of a valley, but when the wind blows, you need to avoid downdrafts as the priority. As you can probably already guess, valley flying is pretty much for daylight hours only. A multitude of hazards are present, which may not be visible at night, plus the correct identifying of valley openings, rivers, lakes and so on, are all the types of features that become almost invisible after dark. Therefore, if your departure becomes delayed, perhaps due to waiting for a weather improvement, be aware of fading daylight and ensure that you can complete your trip within daylight hours, particularly if you have to take a longer valley route, delaying you further. Still making good time. Don't need to worry about tuning the radios. Temps, pressures are in the green. Fuel tanks balanced.
when you get up to interchange, it should be a right hand turn heading 315 up the valley. such a contrast bright hazy low winterish sun up the Lefton Valley and so dark and gloomy right turning valley Turn coming up soon. Then it's a three minute leg. Take a sharp right here and you'll get your first sight of Shambury, our final waypoint. Standard right turn. little back pressure on the stick, bring the wings level, look at that, from that the right The valley has haze. opened up to a wider space now, giving us more room to breathe with regards to tricky valley winds. However, we must remain particularly mindful of other air traffic as valleys naturally focus the flow of flights down narrow routes, especially when low clouds pins us down to lower altitudes. Also, when the weather becomes marginal, you may be taken by surprise as you turn into your next valley, perhaps finding a rain shower or even lower cloud up ahead. So try to keep one eye on an escape plan to allow you to turn around and head back the way you came in case you need to. Radio coverage can be very patchy, as the typical VHF radio used for aircraft communications operates on line of sight, meaning terrain can block or severely attenuate the signal. That grey, gloomy lake up to the right.
Even after being pushed to lower altitudes due to cloud, we made it through the valleys to our destination of Chambéry. Next, we'll take to the New York skyline to see how we can navigate through an intense traffic area safely, taking advantage of a Class B exclusion zone.